somebody stole all the plants. What does it die? Do you know what a perennial is that? Your call is important to us. Bastards. It's not actually glamorous at all. What else, what else, what else? Something that doesn't die. Something that doesn't die. What doesn't die? All the perennial stuff's down there. This is like perennials, like I know what that means. Do you know what a perennial is, Dad? Grab them. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, not them ones. Olive trees. They don't die easy. Shit. Lovely. All right then, Dad. I'll speak to you in a bit. See you later. Have to do. Somebody stole all the plants. Who does that? Why steal the bunch of plants? Basically, Mosley itself is a beautiful shop and it's got this really prominent frontage, got loads of character. Everybody keeps parking their car in front of it. So we built these planters and then we put all trees and different plants in there and stuff. During lockdown, somebody came and stole all of the plants. Not like the planters itself, they took the whole thing away. They left those, they took just the plants. What do you do with those plants? Do you sell them again? Do you just put them in your garden and look at them? Hopefully you've got a really nice garden there. So just grabbed all the plants, loaded them in my dad's van, and he's now gonna take them over to Mosley and get them all planted. My dad's a painter and decorator. He does all of the work on the shops. Anytime there's a new studio, uh, he does all the decorating work on that. And generally just helps me out loads with like little things like this as well. One of the best things about having Vivid Ink and all the shops is that I get to spend so much time with my dad. I was raised by my father, We've got an incredible bond. It's so nice to be able to spend time with him. What's not nice is people stealing the plants in Mosley. Right, just got to Mosley. Let's see how my dad's getting on. You all right, Dad? Yeah. My dad and my uncle Bern as well, cracking on getting all the uh, new trees planted. Strange email. Let me read this out loud. Hi there, I hope this finds you well. We're a BAFTA and Emmy Award winning production company based in London. We've been making shows since 1982 for the BBC, ITV and Channel 4 and have a reputation for making original and super feel good programming. Fair play. Some of our shows include Channel 4, Never Seen It, BBC's The Never Seen It for Disney Plus, Never Seen It or Heard of Him. I have really. I'm getting in touch to see if you'd potentially be open to exploring a show slash documentary series about Vivid Inc. Interesting. Fair play. Okay, so that's flattering. Good. The interested pinged over a reply. Let's see what they say. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for agreeing to chat with us. Basically, we've been thinking about doing a new TV show about tattooing. So do you mind if we could arrange a Zoom call so I could record it and then share that with my team? Lovely. Sounds great. Bye bye. All right, here we go. Hi, Owen. How are you doing? You okay? Yeah, like um, I need some really silly stuff, really bigging up your business. You guys basically put Birmingham on the map, is that right? Is that fair to say? Is it fair to say no one else does what you guys do? Is that fair to say? Can I get you to say something along the lines of like, Birmingham is the tattoo capital of the UK. We're obsessed with tattoos here. Everyone's tattooed and we are the champions of that. So a big part of your job is fixing other studios' bodge jump. <laughs> you know what? Feel free to put a bit of like, you don't want to slate them, but just be like, there are some studios doing real shoddy work and we have to fix it. I don't like quite a modest person, or at least I like to think I am. It's really hard to, to start going, oh yeah, we're doing, do you know what I mean? I, I know what, why we're different to, to lots of places. I don't like shitting on anybody else really. I like to let our hard work do the talking rather than someone's not doing very good and we're just kind of making up. Does that make any sense? You know what? I'm not sure on that. I'm not sure on that at all. It's like, you know, I, I expected there was going to be questions and I expect you're going to have to sell what you're doing and, you know, you're talking to a production company who make these things for a living. So I get it, but I don't know. I felt like I was being interrogated then. And the type of questions as well. It's like, I feel like they're trying to get drama when drama doesn't exist. Vivid Ink TV program. Welcome to Vivid Ink. If you like tarts, this is the place for you. Meet the wee artists. They do little doodles on your skin. 
Don't just cover yourself in ink. Cover yourself in buried ink! Nah. It's been a busy few days. You'll have to excuse these bags under my eyes. Now all the shops are back open. I haven't had much sleep. Now it is on to Vivid Ink Mosley and the downstairs of Mosley, currently full. Amazing shop, amazing artists, but it's at capacity. We've got more artists that want to work here. We've got a lot of customers waiting. So we are expanding into the upstairs. We've got staff room here, which will be a staff room. Bit of extra space for the guys. Waiting area here. We've got the electrician starting today, changing all these lights. And this will be the laser room. Designated laser room. So we're not going to do it in Vivid in Birmingham anymore. It's going to move over to Vivid in Mosley. Throughout this room, it's going to be a nice space for it. And this will be the area for the artists. So we're going to have three artists in here. So it's all going to be completely done out. New lights, new flooring. And um... just got to the office bright and early. Uh, I'm going to meet the lads over here and we're going to go over to Stourbridge to view a property which Ben has lined up. Stourbridge is a place that's been on the radar for a little time, to be fair. It's a really nice area and it's got a big catchment area around it as well, which is really good. Generally, we look for a building which has got a bit of natural charm and a bit of natural character as well. So it's always good if it's got nice high ceilings and fancy windows or archways. Or We can, of course, if it's just a shell, create all those things, but it's nice if it does have a bit of that natural charm as well. We also look for the building to not have a horrendous kind of refurb really extensive building work can get really long in the tooth it can be really hard to do you might need planning permission and it just generally makes the process a lot longer and harder so ideally the better condition the building's in the better for us it's a bit of a balancing act to find the exact right kind of you know middle ground really it's going to be interesting to see this one it's a former betfred hopefully it's in really good condition we shall see we're going to fly over there now waiting for the lads to arrive while i'm waiting i'm just going to go make a tea so yeah i'll show you around the unit established as well Touchdown in Stourbridge and a quick look at the unit, this guy's driving. It's definitely a very nice outside looking shop, you know, it's very prominent. It ticks a lot of the, uh, the boxes for us. How long has he been up with you? Uh, since just before Christmas. It's quite big isn't it, to be fair. The desk started probably here, back to where you are. Waiting area over there. That could be a piercing area, couldn't it? Do you reckon the landlord would mind if we took the suspended ceiling there? It's not great look for us, but it, from what I can see above it, it's like it's all, it's all fireboard and, and yeah, tape and joint. Upset, yeah. So yeah, that's good for their it? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, surely you won't mind us just skimming the ceiling, would it? These big companies like Betfred and that, like, they just they don't care about upfront capital expense, do they? A weird sleeping pig. I hope it was a butcher's. Yeah, yeah. Either a butcher's or a weird farmyard in here. Chicken for any rats. You never been down here. Man, it looks like there's going to be somebody sleeping down there. I feel like I'm about to end up in a cell. Not a very good ending. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I reckon, it, I reckon it's good size. I reckon yeah, five yeah. slash six. Smashing Sound, plus. lovely stuff, lovely stuff. I think we're done to be fair, mate. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we need to see anything further. Successful, guys? Extremely successful. Very successful. Okay, I'm in Vivinit Mosley. Going to check out the refer from upstairs. Uh, say hello to the guys first on the ground floor. My, oh my. Okay, so this is the downstairs of Vivian Mosley. Stefan normally works in this station here, uh, but it was actually his wedding the other day, so he's off. We have uh, this little back area as well. Let's go upstairs and see how we get out of there as well. So far, so good. You have to excuse me embarrassing myself, mate. Okay, so this is now the upstairs of Mosley. We've got Warren working over here. And then we've got Emma, who's made the transfer. Emma used to work in Vivian Litchfield, and she's actually moved over to Mosley now as well. So, really happy with how this has turned out. Looks really good. <laughs> what the f is that? Are you doing that purpose? <laughs> is that bird shit? That's the bird shit, is it? No. Would that be a bird piss? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so just left Vivian Mosley. Uh, really happy with that. It looks great upstairs, and it's so nice to now have it over two floors as well, which is really good. We're going to go and grab a beer to celebrate the success of it all going to plan. It's not often things go to plan, so you've got to have a beer when they do. 
and you've also got to have a beer when they don't as well so basically we're going to go and grab a quick beer it's not so easy to have just one beer Hi, can, take your order? Uh, can I get a medium tea please? Yeah, sure, any milk? Uh, milk please, and can I have a couple of ice cubes in there? You always have to have ice cubes in your tea from Costa because I want to drink it now, not next year. Thank you. Lovely, thank you very much. You, have a good day. you too. I swear I said with milk. Yeah, sure, any milk? Uh, milk please, I swear I said with milk. I don't like black tea at all. Bastards. Yep, yeah, onwards and upwards, and we're off. Off to the races. Right, so I need to practice uh, what I'm gonna say. I've got to film a, a really quick video for, I've got to film a really quick video for Capital, uh, Capital FM to tell everybody that Vivian in Coventry is open, which is really nice of them. Semi practice what I'm gonna say while I'm driving to Coventry. Um, this is where uh, new front of page receptionist Rachel is gonna be working from. So hello Rachel. You, uh, you know, you wanna just come in and make a, oh, yeah. Card only, card only, card only, card only. Are oh, you ads? Your call is important to us. A member of our team. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I uh, I didn't realise it was card only. I will do. To avoid up to seventy pounds job. Fantastic. Thanks a lot. Thank Cheers. You. Could have been worse to be fair. Yo, how you doing, bro? You ain't gonna believe this. Someone stole the plants again from Mosley. Absolute. Mm. 